How, how great an introduction was that? Uh, thank you guys very, very much. So I just wanted to say a couple of words that, that basically since uh, 2000, there have been several hundred IPOs in various markets around the uh, world uh, originated by the international shipping industry, raising the capital to build thousands of ships. The trend really marked the moment in time that the scale of world trade blossomed, helping really to improve the lives of billions that lived in poverty. New York and NASDAQ specifically provided the powerful engine of risk tolerant capital that propelled the ship owners who expanded the era of free trade. Yet in a world of still uncertain economies, political ill will and compelling human struggles, one could not be faulted for a certain amount of anxiety. But we who work in, support and invest with international shipping are a confident lot. For we see a world where billions of people still need, still want, and deserve more. More food, better housing, transportation, education, clothing, electricity, and medical care, made possible by the raw materials and products carried daily around the world by ships funded and capital raised at NASDAQ. Ship owners and their financiers are an optimistic lot, even in the down cycles they suffer through, because they know people of the world will not cease their striving and yearning for a better life for themselves and their children, today and tomorrow. Our community will not lose the belief that every cycle turns, as billions rely on the services they and their ships and crew provide. Ours must truly be the world's greatest growth market. In that struggle, we are often motivated by those around us who truly put global trade squarely on their backs. The ship owners, the financiers, the investors, and the market propellants like NASDAQ, uh, who every day confront the often enormous challenges of building the businesses and infrastructure which link nations. Like this Sunday's grand opening of the remarkable new Panama Canal project, celebrating the completion of the world's largest infrastructure project. Think of the ships and the seafarers who in a world of wars, Famine, disease are oftentimes the only link to safety and a future who deliver the critical goods or pluck desperate, who pluck desperate refugees from dangerous waters that would drown them otherwise on their flight to hope. We are once again humbled uh, by the support of NASDAQ for our business and terribly proud of the contributions made by Isabella, David, and, and, and their wonderful team here. Uh, and today we're joined by members of the international shipping community who have themselves been distinguished and uh, above the field by contributing to the creation of transactions, structures, businesses, and value which well serve the interests of the principals and investors alike, but also the greater world. Marine Money Award winners, NASDAQ, we salute you all and thank you all very much for being here. <laughs>